chapter 1 a period of transition study of the modern period the sources of study of the modern period in indian history are relatively easier to obtain as compared to the ancient period different sources related to modern history have helped the historians to reconstruct british rule in india these resources give valuable information on social political economic and cultural developments in india there are two types of sources which help in study the modern period in india first is primary and second is secondary primary sources primary sources of study the modern period in indian history include the following administrative records records the british officials maintained written records of their meetings policies events incidents and plans they built archives and museums to preserve these records for example the national archives of india new delhi and the india office records london archaeological sources monuments such as the gateway of india victoria terminus parliament house and the rashtrapati bhavan gave a detailed account of the art and architecture during the british rule surveys the british government periodically carried out surveys for administrative purposes these provided information about the people landscape and topography of the different presidencies this further helps helped the helped the british to formulate laws and policies for an effective administration legal documents both the civil and criminal law courts during the british rule maintained their legal documents these documents were archived at the india office records in london they helped the historians to gather information about the justice system under the british rule diaries and accounts of travelers accounts of the travelers traders missionaries and british civil servants who came to india in the 18th and 19th centuries are other useful sources of information for the historians sometimes this account these accounts were one sided and biased and did not give correct information therefore the historians used them with caution to reconstruct indian history i witness accounts the i witness accounts provided by the freedom fighters represent the indian perspective of the british rule these accounts are available at the british library in london secondary sources the secondary sources of studying the modern period in indian history are books newspapers magazines letters and pamphlets with the advent of the printed press newspapers magazines letters and pamphlets became the popular means to propagate the spirit of nationalism among the indian masses they made the people aware of the british policies and existing conditions in india the first newspaper in india was bengal gazette was published in calcutta now kolkata in 1780 was started by james augustus hickey they were vernacular newspapers to which strongly patriotic and freedom fighters used the used them as the platform to fight against the british reports and reviews the british introduced various policies reforms and laws and maintained their written reports these records helped the british crown crown to review these policies and make changes with time films and photographs the historians also used photographs and films to reconstruct indian history transition from medieval to modern age the ancient civilization of rome and greece contributed significantly to the foundation of european culture but with the decline of the roman empire 
यूरोप एंटर द मिडल एजेस वन ऑफ द मेन फीचर्स ऑफ द मेडाइवर पीरियड वॉज फ्यूडलिज्म इट प्रोवाइडेड सॉरी इट प्रूव टू बी हिंड्रेंस टू द फ्री फ्लो ऑफ थाट्स एंड आइडियाज एंड अ मेजर ऑब्स्टैकल इन द पाथ ऑफ सोशो कल्चरल डेवलपमेंट्स अंडर द इथोस ऑफ फ्यूडलिज्म मच ऑफ द ओल्डर ट्रेडिशंस ऑफ कल्चर वर लॉस्ट इन द यूरोप lost and europe lost its intellectual vibrancy learning and education was heavily influenced influenced by the religious principles and doctrine doctrines of the roman catholic church in the 13th century a new type of social system began to emerge which led to the disintegration of the feudal system and the development of a secular and rational way of thinking and learning this marked the beginning of the modern age one of the first developments that marked the beginning of the new age was renaissance renaissance the term renaissance is a french word which means rebirth the period of renaissance marked a new interest in the learning of the ancient civilizations of greece and rome it saw series of new developments in the fields of art literature religion architecture philosophy science and politics it began in italy and later spread to france england germany and the other parts of europe In the centuries between 1300 CE and 1600 CE revolutionary changes and new discoveries swept over European culture it brought rapid changes in the mindset of people and marked the end of the medieval age it ushered in what called modern period of history spread of renaissance italy was the birthplace of the renaissance cities such as venice florence milan and genoa emerged as rich and prosperous centers the prosperity and economic certainty was conducive to the development and growth of art and literature artist and growth of an sorry artist scholars philosophers and scientists in the in these cities began to rediscover rediscover the re, rediscover the glorious past in the fields of classical arts architecture philosophy and literature the western roman empire declined in 1476 ce the capital of eastern roman empire constantinople emerged as the new center of learning and intellectual activities After about thousand years, fourteen fifty three C.E., the Ottoman Turks captured Constantinople. As a result, a large number of scholars from Greece escaped to Rome. These learned men were welcomed in Italy and other European countries and played a significant role in reviving classical learning in Europe. Now, characteristics of Renaissance: humanism. an important feature of renaissance was humanism humanism focused on nature achievement and human potential rather than on the power of mystery of divinity the humanist emphasized the study of classics and believed in man his intellect and his life on earth this was intellect and his life on earth this was drastically different from the ideas of medieval period where religion was central to human existence people more concerned with spiritual matters and after life rather than worldly affairs humanism was the main source of inspiration for all the cultural changes that happened during the renaissance it had considerable influence on literature history painting sculpture political ideas humanism remained dominant in education till the end of the 19th century some of the famous humanist thinkers of his period were 
फ्रांसेस्को पिटार्च कायोवेनी बोकासियो एंड पिको डेला मेरांडोला रैशनलिज्म ड्यूरिंग द रेनाइजेंस अ न्यू अप्रोच बिगैन टू इमर्ज पीपल बिगैन टू क्वेश्चन द स्टेबलाइज आइडियाज एंड प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ रेलिजन एंड डेवलप द रैशनल आउटलुक एवरीथिंग दैट वॉज ब्लाइंडली एक्सेप्टेड इन द पास्ट वॉज नाउ बेंग क्वेश्चन Rationalism began the became the basis of modern thinking. The scholars who belonged to the to this age were called rationalist. Scientific spirit. The Renaissance scholars acquired knowledge through scientific approach. Knowledge acquired in the Renaissance world was based on a scientific approach. Was which was based on a systematic process of ob- observation experimentation and conclusion spirit of inquiry the desire of the renaissance scholars to find answers answers based on scientific approach gave rise to a rise to a part sorry spirit of inquiry it led them to explore and discover knowledge this spirit of inquiry led to exploration explorations experimentations and discoveries impact of renaissance the renaissance world was characterized by scientific developments explorations of new worlds developments of art architecture and emergence of modern political philosophy painting in the medieval period the artist mainly painted scenes and portraits inspired by religious and divine ideas their art their art was unrealistic the renaissance artists were inspired by the spirit of humanism they looked upon art as an imitation of life and thus their paintings were natural and realistic Three of the greatest artists of the period were Leonardo da Vinci, Michelangelo and Raphael. Leonardo da Vinci was a versatile artist of Renaissance from Italy. He was a painter, engineer, architect, musician, inventor, mathematician and an anatomist, philosopher and scientist. He is best known for his two paintings, The Last Supper and Mona Lisa. Michelangelo was an Itali- Italian painter, sculptor, architect and poet. Some of his greatest masterpieces and present on ceiling of the Sistine Chapel in the Vatican and statues of Peter, Moses and David. David. He was the main architect of St. Peter's Basilica. Raphael was a master painter and architect of the Italian Renaissance. He is best known for his madonnas and for his large figure compositions in the vatican literature literature also witnessed various changes during the renaissance the spirit of inquiry led to demand for books the invention of the printing press by john gutenberg brought revolutionary changes in learning for centuries books were handwritten and available only in limited number With the invention of printing press books became available to a large number of people the renaissance period marked the emergence of modern european languages the language spoken by the common people such as italian spanish french german and english started being used in literature subjects like history and literature were studied closely these subjects dealt with dealt with the affairs of the human beings and their life one of the first important books of the period of in the modern european language was divine comedy by danet dante written in tuscan sorry tuscan which later became became the italian language the other significant writers of the age were petarch erasmus michelavelli shakespeare Shakespeare and Francis Bacon Francis Bacon was also the father of English essays
science and technology the renaissance spirit of inquiry led to many important discoveries and progress in the field of science and technology copernicus was an astronomer who proved that the earth rotated on its axis and revolved around the sun he was among the first who challenged the traditional thoughts roman catholic church was which thought sorry which taught the, that the earth was the was at the center of the universe condemned him copernicus theory was confirmed a century later by galileo who validated this by inventing a telescope William Harvey discovered the system of circulation of body from the heart to the other parts of the body. Kepler, a German, explained that the planets moved around the sun. Isaac Newton carried forward the work started by Kepler. He proved that all the celestial bodies moved according to the law of gravitation. In the 17th century microscope telescope and thermometer were invented the mariner compass was used by explorers sailors to navigate the sea it helped the travel tremendously sorry tremendously in the discovery of new areas around the world geographical discoveries before the discovery and opening up of sea routes trade between the east and europe was dominated entirely by the arab traders there was a great demand for indian goods such as spices textiles tea indigo sugar coffee salt pickled and luxury items until the 15th century these items were traded westwards by the arabs to egypt via the red sea the arabs the arab traders sold them to italian merchants who sold these goods across europe the monopoly of selling these goods made the italians extremely rich the european sailors and geographers now wanted to search for an alternative sea route so that they could not sorry they could cut out the arabs and trade directly with the east in mid 15th century asia minor was captured by the ottoman turks thus the trade route that linked europe with asia was completely cut off the ottoman turks also took control of the main sea ports in the eastern mediterranean sea attacked and plundered europe ships and imposed heavy taxes on goods that passed through their land as a result U- european trade with the east suffered a major blow the need to find the alternative trade route became absolutely necessary european rulers who profits whose profits were being greatly affected by trade encouraged sailors to explore new sea routes the ships crew the and money was money was funded by rich merchants and rulers thus european sailors especially from portugal portugal and spain spain undertook unprecedented unprecedented explorations of sea routes Portuguese explorers Portugal was the first European country to discover a new sea route to India and the Far East the first great systematic attempt to explore unknown regions came about largely through the efforts of prince henry the navigator of portugal he financed many well planned and expeditions and sent sailors to explore the west coast of africa in 1488 ce bartholomew diaz reached the southern tip of africa and it was named the cape of good hope vasco da gama a portuguese sailor followed the same route and reached the cape of good hope he explored further from there and reached india calicut in 1498 
Vasco da Gama finally opened the trade route from Europe to India which proved to be extremely lucrative. Now, Discovery of America In 1492, Christopher Columbus, an Italian living in Spain, decided to sail westwards across, across to At Atlantic Ocean to find a route into India. Since his calculation of distance from Europe to Asia was wrong, he landed on an island which blocked the westward movement to the east. This new land was named the West Indies. Ferdinand Magellan present, presented a plan, of, plan for a voyage to King Charles I of Spain who gave his blessing. On 20 September 1519, he set out with a fleet of five fully supplied ships. The fleet sailed, to, well, sailed first to Brazil and then down on the coast of South America to Patagonia by October 1520, Magellan and his men had entered what is now called the Strait of Magellan. The Spanish crew reached the Spice Islands in November 1521. Magellan's voyage became the first successful attempt to circumnavigate, sorry, circumnavigate, navigate, circumnavigate the Earth in history. Reformation. Reformation was a religious movement of the 16th century which questioned the traditional beliefs and practices of the church. It roughly spanned from 1517 to 1648. The leading figure of this movement was Martin Luther. It had far-reaching political, economic and social effects. During the Middle Ages, the Roman Catholic Church had begin, become deeply involved with the political life in Europe. The Pope was the head of the church. The church had its own sources of income. All these contributed to the rise of church, church power and wealth. This further led to the church's in, involvement in political intrigue, intrigue use and certain practices like the sale of indulgence or letters of pardon that enabled people to buy penance. Gradually, the demands to reform the church and papacy gained momentum. Religious reform movements eventually divided the church between those who remained loyal to the people and those who broke away from Roman Catholic Church to form a new branch of Christianity. Those who broke away and became followers of this new sect were known as the Protestants.